Hello everyone and welcome to this first edition of the Money Man News where I cover developing stories in the numismatic world. So what have I got for you today? Well, quite an interesting one, probably a topic that you are sick of hearing about. I know I am. You know, you, you, I've told you guys before I live in Hong Kong and we've been living under the cloud of coronavirus for a long time and I've tried not to talk about it because it's really affected us here. Not as bad as mainland China, but it's still... A big, big, big problem for us. However, this is concerning numismatics. And what I'm going to tell you is really, really interesting because there are two possible scenarios that could come out of this um, from a perspective as a collector. So the, this is an official press release from um, the, uh, re the government of the People's Republic of China. And as you know, coronavirus is a huge issue there, uh, not just in China, but in other countries as well. And what they've decided to do is they've ordered all banks across China to start sterilizing their banknotes. So this article has been translated from simplified Chinese into English, so the grammar is a bit dodgy. However, we'll work our way through it. And I will link everything that I show you today in the description, okay? So you can take a look and read more details about this. So it says banks can only put cash after receiving cash disinfection. So <laughs> let's let's grammatically tidy that up. So what it means, it says further down, cash received by banks must be sterilized before being released to customers. Okay, so here I assume that we're talking about circulated currency. Okay, so as collectors, if you're like me and you only collect UNC, unless it's impossible, uncirculated, then this isn't a problem. Uh, this doesn't affect us. However, what they also say further down in the article is that banknotes, new banknotes that are put into circulation will also be treated. Now, that's really, really interesting. So there are two possible scenarios. Before I go into the second one, let's look at the first one. Now, the first one says that 4 billion yuan in new banknotes to Wuhan have been, um, have been allocated. So I assume what they're going to do is they're going to destroy up to 4 billion of old dirty notes and replace it with 4 billion worth of new notes, okay? And some of that cash supply has been allocated to just hospitals and all that stuff, and that's going to be treated in a specific way, and it's going to be sealed separately and all that stuff. However, most of the cash will be used for external purpose outside of the hospital system. So if you're a collector in that country, you may have an opportunity to get UNC bank notes. Now, I know if you're living in China now, this is way, 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 way down on your priority list. You know, the people up there are battling every day for survival during this horrible outbreak. So I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to diminish uh, what's going on there in any way, shape or form. But what I'm saying is from a collector's perspective, there could be an increased supply of uncirculated notes. That's scenario one. Scenario two is, if they start disinfecting these notes before they go into circulation, how on earth can we consider them UNC? You see the problem? So the cash supply for us collectors might start dwindling if more and more countries adopt this policy. Because I bet your bottom dollar, whatever they do to sterilize these banknotes, chemically I imagine, I really, really don't think you can consider the banknotes to be truly UNC when they come through that process. I might be wrong. I'm just guessing. Let me know in the comment section if you think I'm an absolute fruitcake on this, if I'm way off. Maybe somebody who knows more about this process, you know, let us know. Feed us your information if you have it, because I would love to find out. It's necessary, yes, but like I said, I'm talking from the perspective as a collector. So we've got these two scenarios. More UNC cash supply or no UNC anymore because they're going through this special process that may affect the banknotes. So this is really interesting. Now, you might be thinking, hey, this is just China. Chill out. This is just China. Well, potentially not. You have to remember, most people in China use digital forms of payment. They use things like WePay, which is a phone app, or they use things like contactless um, PayWave card payments. OK, so actually, China's ahead of the curve compared to other countries around the world when we're talking about not using cash to pay for things. So if you look at countries that are way more cash dependent, like Singapore, for instance, 
then maybe their government's going to consider this because there is enough evidence to suggest that fluids, bodily fluids, can stay on banknotes and can help in the transmission of disease. So this is definitely a smart move from the Chinese government. They have to do this. But for the from the perspective of a collector, it doesn't look good for us, okay? So this could be coming to a country near you, or it could be coming to your country, depending on where you live, all right? So, let's have a look. Now, how dirty is your money? Is this actually a realistic thing to do? Well, like I said, yes, it is necessary, because this is an article from 2017. I've linked it down in the description from Channel News Asia, and they talk about how dirty your money is, and they did a little study, and it's really fascinating. Now, the subheading that they use to surmise some of the points in this article is the following. Like toilet seats, shoe soles. That's right. The lower denominations of the Singaporean currency can be as dirty as toilet seats and the soles of shoes, okay? So, and remember, they're using polymer in Singapore, which is deemed to be cleaner, right? <laughs> and easier to clean. So, even the polymer banknotes are riddled with bacteria. And what they did is they did an interesting um, trial. They took money from ATMs, supermarkets, hospitals, hawker centers, which a hawker is just like a street seller, and wet markets. And of course, wet markets and hospitals, they have the dirtiest banknotes, which you would expect. I mean, like wet marks, wet markets are so disgusting, especially in Hong Kong. Some of them are so bad. Um, there's just dirt everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm not surprised about the wet markets at all. So you got to think about this. There's a lot of bacteria on banknotes. So this policy from the Chinese government makes absolute sense. So we might see a dwindling of the UNC cash supply in countries if they all start to chemically treat their banknotes before they go into circulation. It could really affect them. It might not. We don't know yet. But I'm just saying this is one of the scenarios that might play out. So it's really, really fascinating stuff. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think I'm just like, I don't know, going crazy here? Or do you think I'm onto something? I would love to hear your opinions down in the comment section on this one. So that's all I have for you today in this first episode of the Money Man News. Please subscribe to my channel for much, much, much more to come in this regard. And don't forget to find me on Facebook at the Money Man 1066 where you can find all the images of everything that is in my collection and updates regarding my videos all the time, anytime. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. It's the Money Man signing out for now. Bye-bye.